In this video, I'm going to talk about how to use the PAA extractor tool. So what this tool does, it extracts the people also asked section on the Google search result pages. So what we're looking at here in this tool is we have the Google search right here. This is a built-in web browser that's on that's at google.com right now. And over here we have like a data grid kind of similar to like a spreadsheet. But let me explain kind of what is going on here. So if I just bring up Google and let's say we type in something like uh, like this here, like how to start a garden. And let me just move this up a little bit so we can scroll down and see those really people also ask questions right here. Now this is a great source of long tail keywords that are addressing intent, like what people are intending to search for. So these are really, really powerful. And one thing though is you'll notice that when you open up one of these to reveal the answer, some additional questions would be put down at the bottom. So you can see a couple questions added down there and those were related to the one that we just opened. Well, if we actually close this and do it again, more questions will show up that are related to this particular question. And you can keep doing that. Then you can go to the next one or and do the same thing and more questions will be appended and you keep opening and closing it and you get more and more questions. So this is where the data is actually coming from, but here's the beauty of it. With the software, you can automate the entire process of extracting and mining out that long tail keywords into this data grid. And you can set the number of levels that you would like to click, or sorry, extract, and then the number of times that you wanna click each question in order to create new ones. So let's go ahead and do an example of say puppy training. And I wanna select three levels and let's just go ahead and select three clicks. And what we're gonna do is once you click this extract button, it's gonna go ahead and stick it in there. And I'm just gonna close this little window here. And if we go down, we'll start seeing it being clicked several times. And you can see the click amount down here on the taskbar and where we are in the levels. So right now we're extracting level two questions. And then it'll continue on to the next level. And so there's gonna be 32 here and it's gonna to have to click each of those three times. So it can take a while. So in here, you can extract up to eight levels and you click up to five times. Now, if you select eight levels and click five times, it will take several hours for this to complete, but you would get thousands of questions. But let's go ahead and let this run through. What I'll do is I'll just pause the video and be back in a second. Okay, while well, it's still running there, I do wanna mention something. Like a lot of these long tail keywords are excellent to try to get more traffic to your content, um, even though they will most likely show zero volume search results in all of the different search tools. We do have tools in here to get search volume. Now, a lot of them will be zero, but that doesn't mean they don't get traffic because it turns out that there's like 15 million new, brand new searches every day on Google and those new searches are not registering in all the different you know, search volume tools out there. You know, it takes a while before that shows up. And to be honest, a lot of those things are just estimated anyways. So this is a treasure trove of very valuable questions because Google is, is basically telling you the most intentful next thing that people are also asking. And if you answer those questions or provide content around them, you're gonna get natural traffic to your, to your uh, content. Okay, now so now it's done. Let's take a look at the content we've got here. So we've got the level, we've got the question, we've got the parent question, and we also have the link title that it's linked to for the web page. And then we have the web page link, and then we also have the text, which is basically the answer text. Now, if it's a video, a YouTube video, there won't be any, any text there given, obviously. And now you can save this data to a, a CSV file in the file here, I'll just show you real quickly. You can save this data to a project file. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And you can see here, I do have another one I did for puppy training, but that was three levels with three clicks. But let's just do uh, puppy training here. And this is just a project file that can only be opened up inside of this PAA extractor tool. And then you can also save it to CSV. You can also just save the questions only if you want. But the next thing I really wanna show you is another very powerful tool in here. 
to be able to view these questions in a, um, a tree format. So if you click this here, it's called PAA tree, it will bring up another window here. It's going to be a little bit difficult to see in, in the video here, but you could see all the questions. There's a ton of them. So let's just zoom out with my mouse. And you could see all the questions showing up here in a nice tree view. You can do a compact over here if you hit the um, compact button and they'll show, display a little bit differently so you can see all the questions. And you can click on a question and it shows all the data over here in like a little modal popover. So you got the question, the answer, the title, the page, and also the link that you can click on and go and view that on, um, on the website there. And you can take a look at the content. So with, this is organized really nicely and easy for you to use. And you can even search up here within the questions and find things. And there's this little window up here which will help you move around. You can also go vertical and horizontal. And you can zoom with little buttons here. You can also open this inside your default web browser and still have all the functionality. So it's a standalone HTML file. And with that said, you can actually save this to an HTML tree file. So you can save it there, or you could save it from file. Let me just bring it into view here, file, and save, export to PAA tree HTML file. And so when we do that, this HTML file, right here, this HTML file is a standalone file that you can just deliver to your writers or use in your AI or whatever you, you're creating your content. It's just a standalone file that you can just deliver to anybody exactly the same as a Word document or a PDF or something like that. It's totally self-contained. So let's say you give this to your writers. All they do is just double click it and it'll open up in their default web browser and they got access to all of this. So that's pretty awesome. And to deliver it you, in Windows, you can just right click and click send to compressed and then you can just send this zip file to them. And same thing with Mac, if you just right click, I believe you can just zip it up. So saving this to, let's say, a comma delimited file, comma separated value file. And we can go to the last working folder to see it. And we open that up. You'll see you'll get all your data in a nice Excel spreadsheet here that you can use for your content development. Now there's so many tools in here, like so many different features. I'm not gonna show it all in this video, so I'll separate them into different videos. For example, generating content using these um, this questions and also the answers, and also even scraping the links and rewriting the articles. All of that stuff's actually built into the software to make it a little easier to create your content. So if you right click in the grid, you'll see you'll have all sorts of stuff you can do here. You can send the selected question to the actual up here and do another PA tree. So let me just show you that. Like say, for example, I wanted to put this in there and get the people also ask questions for that. So I'll do this, right click, send this to, so you first, you have to actually select or highlight, I should say. Selecting is selecting this little checkbox, but highlighting is just highlighting a cell. And you just need to highlight any cell in this row. Now I'm gonna right click and send question to PA tool and extract. It's gonna tell you that it's gonna clear out all the data. You can't have two at the same time in inside the data grid at the same time. So you can't have like two actual PA trees in here, just only one at a time. So click yes. And then it's gonna say, hey, look, well, what do you want for the levels and clicks? So I'm just gonna to stick to two levels in one click for now. So I'll just quickly go through. And what's nice now, if we look at the tree, it'll be a little easier for us to understand because it's not so big. And now we can look at the questions and then related questions that it's linked to according to Google saying this is the mo this is what people are also asking about when they ask about this question and so on and so forth. So there's lots of stuff you can do with this data. You can write articles, individual articles around each question or you can write an article around a set of questions or you can run, do sort of like a, a pillar kind of blog post where you have this main question and then you can answer in these and sub questions. But you have to really look at the questions themselves. So it depends, like some of them might be completely not really related. 
for example, like how long does it usually take to train a puppy? So it's about training a puppy. And over here, it's like, should I carry my puppy out to pee? So I mean, it is sort of related to training, but I mean, not directly. So you might not want to join those together. So you do have to kind of, uh, you know, look at the questions and, and figure that out. But we do have a tool in here that can help with that. So I'll show you that in other videos. So another thing you can do is you can right click let's say like we look at, at this one here, we can right click and we could send this question to a new instance of the software and it will open up automatically and just start doing the extraction. Check this out. I'll do the same thing. I'll select the number of levels and the clicks. And it'll open up a new instance of the software. And it will go to the PA extractor. You will enter in and start doing the search automatically. So that's pretty cool. That's one pretty neat feature that we put in there. But we do have a bulk option, which I'll have another video. So you can technically um, select a bunch of these, for example, something like this, and Control C, and you hit bulk, and you put all these in there. Let's just do two for now and just two clicks and whatnot. And what I'll do is I'll select a folder. Let's make one, call it bulk. And this is where I wanna save all the files. So what's gonna happen is gonna completely automate the process and it's gonna go and do this processing and get the and get the PAA questions and data. And then use the file formats. You gotta select at least one. It'll save the PAA tree file, the CSV file, and a PAA project file. So I'm just going to select all three and just do, do those two and you go ahead and click OK. And now the magic is just going to be completely automated all behind the scenes here and you can just and everything will just happen on its own in the background. So it's going through the first one. And now you got to go to the second one. And we can see all the files being saved over here. So now we can double click to open up the trees or we can open up the, the CSV file. So now we have all our data files and you send these data files to your writers or use it with AI, whatever you wanna do. So that's a way you can just bulk, um, bulk extract as many as you want and completely unlimited. So another thing you can do actually, you can select the questions that you want and you can right click and you can send them all to the bulk tool, send selected, or you can send all. I don't recommend sending like hundreds to the bulk tool because it would take a long time to do that. I would probably do, you know, 10, 20, 30 at a time, something like that, but it's up to you. You can test it out. Plus you can have multiple instances of the software running, each of them doing, you know, a, a bunch each. So there's that as well, but you can, send selected to the bulk tool. So it will do that as well. It remembered there were some in there already. Now another thing you can do here is, you, down here you got some useful buttons. You can click Google to go to Google Home, homepage there. You also have a buttons up here. This is the address bar, similar to a browser. So if you open up, you have this search bar and you usually have buttons here. You can do things forward and backwards and home. All that stuff is in here. So if you go here, you can actually search inside here. So you don't have to put it over here. So say if you put puppy training inside the search engine. And now we can just hit the extract button down here. And it will go ahead and extract everything here. But you also can set, you still have to set the levels and clicks over here if you use this extract button. One other thing you can do here is you can use the Google Advanced Search. So if you click here, it just goes to the Advanced Search for Google. Then you can utilize all of their advanced features, like um, find pages with all these words and with the exact words, any words, none of these words, like exclusions, page ranges. You can set your language, your region, the last time it was updated, restrict it to just a domain, all sorts of cool stuff. So you can do all that stuff and you'd you'd get uh, different questions. now. Keep in mind that Google may not provide people also ask questions for every single search. And if you use all of these, it may not show anything because it might not be really relevant. So just keep that in mind, but that's how you can use that. 
there's some other features in here where I mentioned you can do some um, search volume. Um, please note that these are a lot, a lot of these words, these uh, questions are long tail keywords and they will have zero search volume, but some of them do. And sometimes it's kind of nice to see which ones get a little bit of search volume and then you can sort of concentrate, you know, more trees and more data extraction around those keyword topics. So you can kind of dominate it. And so I put these in here anyways, so you can import from free sources. I'll have another video showing how to use this. So you can import from Google Keyword Planner and also search volume.io, which is free. They allow up to 800 keywords a, a day, I believe. And then if you have a paid Keywords Everywhere account, which most people that do keyword research have an account, you can utilize their API. So you just enter in your API in here. And um, I provide a tool here that provides some data analysis that Keywords Everywhere doesn't do. And I also put the extract URL metrics directly in here. So if you actually click that, you could see it goes to the API and it actually grabs the um, search volume, monthly search traffic for the domain for that link that was provided. So this link, let me just get it in view here. So this link right here, that's the average monthly traffic according to keywords everywhere for that particular link and how many ranked keywords that article has. So that's a pretty neat little feature if you have keywords everywhere. And of course, there is an estimated one. This uses a computer algorithm I found online that does pure estimation. So use this with a grain of salt. <laughs> it's not real search volume data, but it kind of guides you a little bit to the keywords that you might be want to concentrate on. So it gives you a little bit, another element of basically research. So most online keyword um, estimation softwares are all estimating the traffic. So this is just another one of them. I thought I'd built it directly into the software just to kind of help as a guideline. So I'll show another video how to do that. And you can copy um, with the copy button here. So you can copy uh, for keyword planner. You can copy for the search volume. If you automatically just click this, it just copies all the questions and goes directly to your keyword planner, which is kind of convenient. I like this tool. So now you can click in here and get the search volumes. And then you can download this and save it. And then you could just take that and just drop it right in there. And now we'll have the search volume. As you can see, they're pretty low, but it doesn't mean they're not getting any searches. It's just uh, it can help you give you a guideline that these top ones here are actually being searched a little bit. So you can maybe do another tree around these to really dominate that area. So just extra extra data that can help you utilize these uh, low search volume keywords to really dominate. Because if you have, if you're targeting like, you know, hundreds of these, you could be getting 3,000 to 5,000 clicks a month just on your articles from all these searches that other people are asking in Google. So this is a great way to get some free natural traffic from Google by targeting these long tail keywords because they're just like a gold mine. So I think that's what I'm gonna show in this video here. And when you right click, you do have some other options that are kind of not showing on screen. Um, things like check boxes, filters, copy here again. You can also search. Um, that's one thing I could show actually. If you select up to 10, and you go right click, and I'm gonna go search Google Trends, it'll bring up up to 10 right to um, the, the trends so you can see if there's any trending things going on with these questions. A lot of times you won't see much, but what's cool too is you can come down here and utilize some other data that they show related topics and things like that if it comes up. So I figured that would be another um, nifty little tool to put in there to help you identify more trending topics around things. And then you have some other things like deleting rows and uh, filters. You can use the, I'll have another video on filters, but you can just click up here and it's pretty much self-explanatory. Just start searching in here. It'll automatically filter for you and clear, clear out the filters. So I think this video is getting a little too long, so I'm gonna stop it here and I'll move on to the next one. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.